Linda? Now, it's good to know that Chukudi is not the only one with a zero tolerance for anything that smells of failure. Senior advocate of Nigeria and human rights lawyer Femi Falana has another issue that is now in our reports. Now, yesterday, he wrote to the acting director general of the Department of State Services, that is Matthew Sayefa, demanding the names of the 294 Nigerian citizens allegedly held in the agency's custody illegally. Now, Falana also requested uh, that his request actually relies on the provision of the Freedom of Information Act, and he threatened to sue the agency if his demand was not met within seven days. Now, although he also thanks Sayefa, the acting DG, for honoring his earlier letter uh, that was dated for August 20th by releasing some persons that had been detained for over two years without trial, he said that he had since learned from some recently released detainees that not less than 294 others were still being held illegally by the DSS. Now, this is such good news because it's good to know that we have people working in Nigeria's justice system that understand that there are problems where we may not smell those problems because the media may not share it. And kudos to Femi Falana for bringing this to the media and bringing this to the limelight. But this is a serious issue. Very serious issue. And the truth is, if we all claim that in a democracy, we are all subject to the law and the law is supreme, then every action must be guided by what is enshrined in our laws. And well, that one can be argued because now we're still looking at, we remember this the debate between um, lawyers no, and individuals. No, no, see, President Buhari, said that President, Buhari see, President Buhari can say anything. I can say anything. You can say anything. But the law that is supreme is final. If we go to the court, it is not because of me. It is not because of you. It is not because of President Mahmoud Buhari. It is because of the law. Section 35 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended is clear on the right to personal liberty. If you are going to infringe on my right, then it should be within the ambits of the law. You cannot arrest and detain somebody exceeding 48 hours without charging them to court if you do not approach a court to get a ruling that would favor your action. Whatever you have done has become unconstitutional. But you could, this isn't the first time we've heard of the DSS doing this. We've heard... With and it is unconstitutional. So we are not looking at their unconstitutional act or what is illegal. We are looking at what is right. And that is why Mr. Femi Falano has exercised his rights as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, it's one thing for him to exercise his rights. It's another thing for this right to be granted. We know that the court if has you given do orders. Not see, that's what we are saying. We are not talking about what is illegal or what is unconstitutional. And no, I because you cannot justify what is illegal. If it is not love, it's not love. There's nothing like fake love or true love. All right. If it is not love, it's not so love. So now he has demanded that their names be released. Exercising his right. To freedom of, under the Freedom of Information Act. Simple. And within seven days, they're meant to submit this to him. Thank you. So are we going to say now that the DSS will actually do this? Because we know that the court has given orders in time past then, that the DSS let If go they do in. not comply, it is illegal, it is unconstitutional, and so therefore it is wrong. It's simple. So what is the way forward? I think what Olive is also the way forward to is to follow what is enshrined in the constitution. Of if course. the constitution is supreme, of course. But the problem that we are finding is that unfortunately, a lot of people that should be following what is enshrined so in the constitution. So if they don't follow, we disrespect them. And how do we disrespect them? If we say the law is supreme, and you do not follow the law, what you are doing is wrong. It's unconstitutional. It's illegal. There is no justification for illegality. If it is wrong, it is wrong. You cannot justify that. So now yeah. this DSS that has been sort of, you know, an issue with regards to obeying the rule of law in mm. certain cases, what do we now do to them? Thank the you issue? very much. Because now we know that this is not the first time. We know that with the arms gates, the Dasuki gate scandal, mm. there were issues concerning that. We also know of this man, El Zakzaki as well, who had been detained by the DSS unconstitutionally. That, that is why it. Nigerians must participate actively in government. We cannot keep making excuses for those who abuse the law. You cannot exercise you know, uh, your powers guided by impunity because you occupy a particular position. But I would want to cut the DSS some slack, especially under the leadership of Matthew Seyfa. Acting. Mr. Femi, the acting, uh, yeah, the acting um, head. Mr. Femi Falano was perhaps even surprised. You saw in the second letter he wrote, he thanked him that, ah, I'm happy you responded to my letter. But we cannot keep playing to the ego of people who abuse their powers, or people who flout our laws. It's simple. If you do anything that is unconstitutional, it's unconstitutional, you should be punished. If you do anything that is illegal, it's illegal, you should be punished. If the law says you cannot arrest and detain anybody exceeding 48 hours without charging them to court, 
The law also makes provisions for you to take certain actions to justify why you are holding them. Joe Sabiri was held for two years without trial. How do you explain that? You see, when you perpetuate illegality, you no longer have any points. At the end of the day, this is what we are actually trying to out outrightly criticize. We want to say that Nigeria is not op operating some sort of dictatorship. We are not operating some sort of autocratic rulership. We are operating a democracy. A democracy enables supremacy of the law over the rulers and the ruled. So if there is a provision in the constitution that says that, you know, you cannot detain someone beyond 48 hours without a court order, simple. then we expect that these people who are supposed to be people that are at the helm of affairs, that are supposed to be people that would enshrine that the temple of justice is not defiled, that it would also be subject to this. But what Nigerians must do is understand the fact that certain people abuse our laws and they do not respect the law. Let's keep... Let's Anybody keep... that abuses the law and does not respect the law does not deserve the respect of the people. Chukudi, seven days from now, we'll get to find out how this turns out. In seven days, they'll be expected to respond to the request of um, Sfalano, knowing that his request was made under the Freedom of Information Act. And we'll see how this goes. We'll definitely be giving you the update here on Hello Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.